attempting the question on the screen. Uh, producing the orthographic drawing of a certain block, taking out from the from the direction of arrow T. Okay, so in orthographic projection, so this drawing will actually be projected in first angle orthographic projection. First angle. All right. So uh, the very first thing I'm going to do is to project my thin horizontal line. All right. After projecting the thin horizontal line. Okay, so I have produced the uh, orthographic uh, scale. All right, so my front view is going to be positioned here, my plan here, and our end view here. Okay, so to produce our front view, so the total height for our front view is what is 50. The total height there is 50. So with your ruler, mark out point 50 is from this here. Okay, having my 50 over there, I am going to what project it horizontally. I'm going to project it horizontally in this manner. So I ensure that I projected it beyond towards what towards the position of what of the NV. So after that, the midpoint of this height of 50 is what is mark 25. So I'm going to pick that out also. Mark 25. So these are mark 25 here. Having a mark 25, there, I'm going to project it horizontally also. Okay, viewing the front view from that. From this area towards our left hand side we see a distance of mark 24 somewhere here okay so from the midpoint here i'm going to pick 12 mm upwards then 12 mm downwards which is what which is 24 then i'm also going to what project that horizontally yeah and lastly yeah towards the extreme end on that front view we have a mark of what 20 towards the top and 20 towards the bottom on the front view so i'm going to do that now so with my ruler Still from this midpoint of mark 25, I'm going to what measure 20 mm towards the bottom, then 20 mm towards what towards the top. Okay, then I'm going to what project them horizontally also. Okay, having those lines there, the next thing is this. So taking a look from our plan, the thickness, yeah, from here to here is what is 12. With your my ruler, I measure mark of what? Mark of 12. Okay, so from that mark of 12, I'm going to project it vertically now on mark of 12. Okay, so from that mark of 12, we have another mark of what 12. And I'm going to pick that also, another mark of 12. After picking it, I'm going to also what project it vertically. Okay, from that mark of 12, we have a mark of 18. Yeah, so I'm picking mark of 18 now. From mark of 18, I'm projecting it what, vertically. And after the mark of 18, I'm having another what, another mark of 12. I am projecting into it vertically. Okay, having done that, we are told that total distance on this front view before uh, the cylindrical part we have the total distance here is what is 60. And if we calculate 12 plus 12 plus 18 plus 12, all right, that is that is 54. And we are told that the other width there is 60. So 54 minus, I mean 60 minus 54 is what is 6. So which means towards this area, I'm having a length of what? Length of mark 6 here. So mark 6. Picking that mark 6, I'm going to also what project it what vertically. Okay, having that, let me develop my uh, front view. So we haven't gotten uh, the point of the cylindrical part yet. So let's suspend that for now. Okay, so to bring it out now. I'm going to thicken this area right from here. Okay. Top, then. Okay. Then also likewise from the bottom down to this point here. Okay. Then closing it here and right here. Then I'm going to close it right here okay so that's it so the cylindrical part we have here we told that that cylindrical part here the external diameter is diameter 25 and the length is what the length is 20 mm long okay so let's measure the length first of all length of 20 mm which is this okay that is the mark here then project it vertically Okay, I'm going to that diameter is of diameter 25, which is radius. 
12.5. So from the center of them at 25, draw a uh, mark out 12.5 towards the top and the bottom. After marking out the points 12.5 towards the top and bottom, I'm going to reject them horizontally, which is this and this. Okay, so from there, I have the height already. I'm going to develop the cylindrical part, which is here. In this manner and this manner and this manner all right so we are here to complete it yeah we are here to complete it okay this particular part here there is a cylindrical hole there and that hole is what is diameter 12. so what does that imply from the midpoint here i'm going to measure six towards the top then six towards the bottom to give me my what to give me my point 12. Then i'm going to what draw it horizontally also i'm projecting it horizontally okay having it that way i'm going to represent it in close with hidden line and also we take note that on this area here yeah on this area here, there is a hole there okay on that mark of 18 which is here to here yeah there is an hole there so and that hole is from the top to the bottom which i am going to show okay. now so if there is an hole here then the hole coming from here is going to what is going to connect to the bottom here okay I'm going so right now we have a complete front view we have a complete front view okay so let's produce the plan let's produce the plan okay so the span yeah which is from here to here of our plan is what is 40. so i'm going to pick my ruler and measure 40 from this area downward all right so and that is the mark 40. then i'm going to, go to project it horizontally horizontally all right so after doing that uh let's start developing our plan so this area automatically connects this area which we already projected from our front all right this area that's the way then we have something like this here also this way and this way all right okay so okay so this area and this area that's it on our what on our front view there okay so for this cylindrical part here so do not forget that the external diameter here is what is diameter 25. so let's get the midpoint of our area here first of all okay so this line here is what is centralized is at the midpoint of the span from here to here so from this area get your 12.5 towards this axis and from this area 12.5 towards this axis then you watch you project them horizontally okay so since i have that now i can now develop this part this way and this way and also this way all right so that's it so on this area on this area here there is a there is a hole inside and we said the diameter of the hole inside it is what is diameter 12 diameter 12. so from the midpoint here measure six towards the top six towards the bottom okay then we are going to what project them you can see the position on the plan so we project it towards as you can see okay that's it so on this area from our uh front view from our front view here on this area so this area is also what eating so we need to show it on our plan right here okay and we are told that the span there is what is 25 so from the this thing here i think we already have that we already have that because this place is 25 so i just would project it out here in this manner okay so as it stands now we have a complete front elevation and what and a complete plan so all we need to do now is to, to get our what our nv okay so to get our nv we are going to project a line from this midpoint downward at an angle of what 45 degree okay in this one okay after projecting this line at angle 45 degree so you now project it upwards yeah from every point which the line you draw horizontally touches this line you project them what you project them upward okay so the first one is here 
and I pull it upwards, followed by this, I pull it upwards, followed by this, I pull it upwards, followed by this, I pull it upwards. Okay, so after projecting them upward, so my front view starts from right here, this very position to this position. So I'm going to draw it like this, then also at the bottom. Okay, then this area upwards also. Then this. Okay. So this area here. So we are going to trace it, and this area we trace it. So we are having it here and right here. Okay, settled. So this is our hidden view here, which is this. So we need to trace the height here to the end view. So the first height there is this portion. We project it with thin line. Then this area also, we project it there towards with thin line. Also at the bottom, this portion right here, I project it towards thin line. Then this portion right here, I project it towards thin line. Okay. After doing that, then we trace it. We trace it. Okay, we can see coming from here. This is it here. Then going up. So it starts from here to this point here. Okay. All right. So also the second portion, tracing it up. That's it from there. Starting from here down there. Okay. Then we close it in this manner here and here. Then also okay. So those are the points here. All we have to do now is to show the what this cylindrical part, which is the circle. We need to show it on our what on our front view. Then how do we do that? So this is the midpoint of the old circle. So for the first circle, I pick my compass, all right? And what is the span? This is the span of the first circle. So extending this to this area as my radius. From the midpoint here, I'm going to what? Draw the four. Okay. So for the second circle, this it here. Okay. Extending it, picking this span. Yeah, that's the radius there. Okay. So without distance, draw. Okay, as it is now, we also have a what uh, the end elevation. So that is the solution for this question. So kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.